When I teach watercolor classes, one of the first questions I get is what kind of paint should I buy? Now, you know if you've watched this channel that I'm a big fan of Daniel Smith watercolors. However, they can be fairly expensive, especially for beginning watercolor artists. So recently, when I was asked that question, I decided to look into Holbein watercolor paints. In this video, I'm gonna do a quick review of this 12 color set each paint is five milliliter in size, tube paint, and this is artist grade paint. I always encourage my students to use artist grade or professional grade and not use student grade when they're trying to learn watercolor because artist grade is a big advantage. So if you're interested in learning more about the Holbein 12 color set, five milliliter paints, keep watching. I'm gonna give you my opinion. Hi, welcome to my studio. My name's Chris, and this channel is all about tips, tools, and tutorials for growing in watercolor. Before we get started looking at this set of Holbein watercolor paints, let me tell you about a free online course that I've created to help beginners in watercolor learn about all the supplies and materials needed to get started in watercolor. I cover paper, paints, brushes, palettes, and I even show you how I set up my painting area. If this sounds interesting to you, take a look at my website at studio.christabruin.com and look for the link to the Getting Started in Watercolor class. Okay, without wasting any time, let's take a look at these paints. Again, this is the Holbein Artist Grade Watercolor Set, 12 colors, 5 milliliter tubes. We open it up. Again, these are fairly small tubes. I get 15 milliliter tubes with Daniel Smith, so this is one third that size. But again, I think this might be a great option for those who just want to give watercolor a try, but want to try professional grade materials. The colors included in this set are Crimson Lake, Vermilion Hue, Yellow Ochre, Permanent Yellow Light, Permanent Green, Viridian Hue, Cobalt Blue Hue, Prussian Blue, Burnt Sienna, Burnt Umber, Ivory Black, and Chinese White. Now I have to admit, I wouldn't normally be very enthusiastic about a, a set that included Chinese White and Ivory Black. Uh, these are two colors of paint that I usually don't buy. If I need white, I use white gouache, which is a little bit more opaque, and I never buy black. That being said, that leaves us with a really nice set of 10 colors, and this set only cost me $25. Now, I can only buy two tubes, usually, of Daniel Smith watercolor paint at the 15 milliliter size for $25, or run around $12 a tube. So again, this gives me a nice selection of colors for a very affordable price. Let's open these paints and swatch them out. Okay, I've squeezed a little bit of the paint on the plate here in somewhat of a color wheel fashion. I start with the yellow at the top. I've got the vermilion and the crimson lake, the cobalt blue hue here, Prussian blue, viridian green, uh, the permanent green. Then I get into my um, uh, earth tone colors. I've got burnt sienna and burnt umber, and then last but not least, the yellow ochre. Starting with Permanent Yellow Light. Uh, this is PY74 and PY83. This is Vermilion Hue. So this would be my warm red. And I have a cooler red as well in this set. Seems to be a little bit more granulating. This is PO73, PR254, and PY110. This here is Crimson Lake. This is PR177, PR122, and PV19. Next for uh, the warmer blue, they've included cobalt blue hue. This is PB29 and PB15. 
for a cool blue in this set, they've included Prussian blue. This is PB27. Next, moving into the greens, this is Viridian Hue. Trying to put a real um, thick and heavily pigmented application at the top and then kind of move down into a more transparent and thin application here near the bottom just to give you a sense for how it looks, how it reacts to water. This is PG7, Viridian Hue. Now a real yellow shifted green. This is permanent green number one. This is PY3, PY53, and PG7. I can't say that's a color I would probably use a lot, but it might mix nicely with the blues to get different greens. Now moving into the earth tones, this is Burnt Sienna. Like most Burnt Siennas, this is PBR7. Also PBR7, Burnt Umber. And the last color on my chart, Yellow Ochre. This is PY42. My initial reaction to these colors is I've painted with them. They're uh, really beautifully pigmented colors, rich colors. They go on nice and smoothly on the paper. The colors that I would expect to be granulating are somewhat granulating, maybe not as much as I'm used to with Daniel Smith. I can get fairly dark application, thick, as well as nicely uh, transparent colors. Again, overall, these are really nice watercolor paints, especially at the price point uh, for $25 to buy a whole set like this to give them a try. Let's go ahead and let these dry and see what they look like once they dry a bit and get a little bit lighter. Now that the paints have dried, you can see here uh, that they have a very slight color shift. Uh, it's a sign of a good quality professional paint. If you're interested in trying out Holbein artist grade watercolor paints, I can highly recommend this set of 12 colors. Uh, even without the white and black, which I did not swatch out, you can see these 10 colors are uh, just a beautiful set of colors. Uh, it's a nice variety of colors to get you started in watercolor. So once again, thank you for watching this review. If you found this valuable or helpful, consider subscribing. I put out new videos about once a week. You also might want to check out my growing list of free resources on my website at studio.kristabruin.com. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.